Three, two, one. It's the end of January, and there's a few important things that happen this time of year. Number one. My birthday. It's her birthday. Number two. It's my birthday. No, number three. <laughs> It's sunny. <laughs> <laughs> it's the annual monarch butterfly migration from Canada and northern United States all the way down to Mexico. 4,500 kilometers. These little guys fly to overwinter. It's incredible. We're going to be showing you two places, El Rosario and Sierra Chinqua. Si. Both in Michoacan. <laughs> so, it's honestly, honestly, it's beautiful. Can't wait to show you. The Butterfly Reserve is located about three hours west of Mexico City. It's actually a giant park. There are four or five sanctuaries you can visit, all of which hug the border between the state of Mexico and the state of Michoacan. You can do a day trip or you can stay in the town of Angangueo like we did. Either way, plug Angangueo in your GPS because the two most popular sanctuaries are just a few kilometers away. All right, so we've begun the ascent to the top of Sierra Chinqua, which is the second most famous sanctuary here in the Michoacan state. So the park itself, the sanctuary, is many, many, many different sites. It's a big forest. And this one apparently is one of the nicer ones in Michoacan. It's 3,300 meters above sea level, which means it's about a thousand, a thousand meters above the altitude of Mexico City. Bienvenido a la experiencia monarca. Sentir sus aromas y sonidos. Dejarte envolver por el, 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 el ambiente que yo te procura. Do you like my Spanish voice? Soy Mike Iglesias, el maestro de español. The first butterflies? Yeah. Show me. Oh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> so just up the hill, about two kilometers, there is millions, millions of, mo of monarch butterflies. And here we've only seen four. But it's beautiful here, look. You've got the tall pine trees, flowers everywhere, and soon it's gonna be butterflies everywhere. I can't wait. Look at them all. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's thousands. This is so cool. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> it's like a fairy tale land. You can hear them. You can hear them flapping. <laughs> Millions of wings. Okay, we've been walking for about an hour and we are finally just on the edge of the sanctuary. We were told not to speak loud because butterflies apparently don't like loud noises. I was asking well, what it's gonna be like and he said the trees are gonna be covered in butterflies, which is crazy because if you look up right now, you can see thousands. It's <laughs> honestly one of the most beautiful things I've seen bright orange butterflies just swirling through these green pine trees. It's dope. Oof. I can't wait to actually get inside the sanctuary. This is cool. If this was the trip, I'd be happy. these black forms in the trees these are all giant mounds of monarchs you can see them a little bit better right there there must be hundreds of thousands <laughs> just coating the trees you can hear it it sounds like it's raining right now 
Like we talked about, some of them travel from Canada to come all the way down here to Mexico. Over 4,000 kilometers. They come here to have their babies. And then, unfortunately, they'll pass away. Okay. <laughs> We've just arrived at El Rosario, which is the most famous butterfly sanctuary in Michoacan. And apparently it has the most butterflies, but also the most people. We're gonna check it out. And he's talking like in a porn movie. Because he's so excited. Oh yeah. Butterflies. He's not tight at all. Oh. No altitude at all. <laughs> Finishing day two of seeing butterflies in Michoacan. This is Sierra Cinqua. Cinqua, and we definitely recommend checking out this spot over the popular spot. They're both cool. You have to hike a bit more for this one, but we saw four people today. Had the place basically to ourselves, and all them butterflies were our friends. Hey. So, on that note, kick the grind. No. Experiences <laughs> over possessions. Kick the grind. My microphone fell off. Catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Ow.